semantic HTML is always the right way to go, right? Things like using your nav or a main or an aside or your header or your footer. Most semantic HTML, at least for these bigger regions, is pretty easy to understand how we're supposed to be using it. And not only are they easy to use, but they come with a lot of baked in stuff with them, to put it in simple terms, uh, that allows things like assistive technologies to better understand the site where we don't need to be going into using area and roles and things like that. And I always assumed that the section element was the same as a lot of these other things where the semantics of it carried through and it served a purpose. And I've been using them for years, but it turns out I was wrong. Well, at least sort of. Hello, my front end friends, and welcome back to yet another video. I'm so glad that you've come to join me once again. And if you're new here, my name is Kevin. And here at my channel, we learn about how to make the web and how to make it look good with weekly tips, tricks, and tutorials. And today we're looking a little bit at some semantic HTML that maybe doesn't do what you think it does necessarily, the section tag. And we're gonna be looking at my own site and how I didn't maybe use it properly. And there's some interesting things that go with it anyway. So we're gonna sort of be exploring the section tag in a bit of detail to make sure you're actually using it properly and it's doing what you thought it was actually doing. So let's go and dive in and take a look at my own site. So here it is, and I was using it here for these areas where I had sections for each part of my homepage. Um, and I knew one thing you had to do in a section. So you can see here's like the first section at the top and then my next one would follow and so on. For these, I had my section. And one thing I have always known about sections is they really should have a heading in them. So having your section and then having my heading and then you have another section and then I have my heading within that section. And that was something I knew about. And I always, I guess, assumed that it was that which gave made the section work. And when we have sections, it's like anything else with our main or with article and other things like that, these become regions of a site or landmark regions of a site that can really help with assistive technologies. And here we're just gonna open up the W3 site. Uh, I have it just off screen. Um, and you can see here about HTML section elements. And it's important to understand the, you know, the main, the nav, the aside, it even gives the examples of there. And these, as it says, they are default by default define area landmarks. And this landmark structure, I've talked about it previously. So if you're curious a little bit more on exactly what that is and why it's so important, you can watch the video, the card should be popping up or there's a link down below um, on exactly what that's doing. But if we come here and we look at this, the default landmark role, we have complementary. So this is, you might've seen it where you get like a role. So I'm just gonna do it role is equal to region. And the roles here are important for this and it's why we have like our nav, right? So when you do a nav, the nav is sort of like doing a div and having a role is equal to navigation, I believe, let's see. Uh, there we go, so you can see the, the nav is a role of navigation. So instead of having to write out div role equals navigation, we get this role baked in just by putting nav instead. So of course we're gonna do that. It makes a lot more sense and it helps the assistive technologies know what this is. It gives it a semantic meaning. Sections, I always just assumed, as long as you had a heading in there, they would work and they would add to that. But if we see here, a section is the role of region, like I just had, role equals region, but that this role automatically only gets added. It, it's not getting added like with a nav or like with my header or like with a form and all of that. It only when it has an accessible name using either area labeled by, area label, or the title attribute. Hmm. So you can come on here and give this a title. And then this could be my like YouTube. And now this section has a title. So now it is being marked as a region. And so here is the information uh, from the W3 on the region role itself. So a perceivable section containing content that is relevant to a specific author specified purpose. Uh, and this is sort of where the important part is. It's sufficiently important that users will likely want to be able to navigate to that section easily and have it listed in the summary of the page. Because these assistive technology screen readers, they can read the summary of a page and will include things like this, um, as it says right here. So authors should limit the use of the region role to sections containing content with a purpose that, you know, first of all, it's so this part's just saying it should be like last case scenario. So if it's your main or your nav or your aside or something like that, do those first. And then if you get to these other types of situations where there's less purpose, 
There's, there's not something more specific you should be using than you use your section. But authors must give each element with a region role a brief label that describes the purpose of the content of the region. Authors should reference a visible label with area labeled by if one is present. So here they are saying, like, don't use the title. The title would work. But in this case, instead of using a title on my own page, what would actually make more sense is to come and reference the H2 that's here. And so to be able to do that, I would have to come and give this an ID. So ID is going to be, and I'll give this one the, the ID of YouTube title. And so here on the section, if I wanted to make this not, you know, right now this is the same as having a div here. There's literally no difference between the two of them. But by coming, and if I want this to like semantically be a section that's going to be a region on my site, I would then come and say area labeled by, and I've always found the labeled by a little weird because we're you know so used to having hyphenation, but anyway, area labeled by, and it's going to be equal to, and my YouTube title. And then I could come and I'd want to do the same thing. We can even go to my hero section at the top here. Uh, so this section will be labeled by my hero title. And then we could actually just copy that and put an ID on here of hero title. And that labeled by and having the ID on here, it links the two sections together. Um, as I said, sections should, to begin with, always have a heading in them anyway. But if for some reason you think there'd be a better title or this doesn't quite describe in the way that you'd want to, um, you could come on this section here and give this a, instead of an area labeled by, you could do the area label instead and say, and I could do articles here. Um, in this case, I think this <laughs> title's fine, but like, I don't know, I want a different one, my articles, let's say. And now this becomes the label for that entire section. Now this also has the role of region on it because I have this area label, or I could do it with a title, or I could do it with my area labeled by. And just make sure if you have sections, and I think they actually do make sense on my site, how I've set them up on this page, because this is all part of my main. Here is about me, and then this like the different sections of this page to me sort of do flow. So in this case, I'm gonna finish updating my site and I'm gonna push this. And it just means, you know, whenever we're writing semantic HTML, you do wanna put a little bit of thought into it. And sometimes it's things like sections that you think work in a certain way that actually work in a different way. And if you'd like more things that people get wrong when they're writing their HTML, uh, including some really simple things that you'd think we'd be getting right all the time, I have a video right here that you can check out. And with that, I wanna say a very big thank you to my supporters of awesome over on Patreon, Jan, Johnny, Stewart, and Tim, as well as all my other patrons for their monthly support. And of course, until next time, don't forget to make your corner of the internet just a little bit more awesome.